Okay, um, we're going to talk about solving systems of equations by substitution. Now, this worksheet, uh, most of you have seen this before. We have done it together before, but uh, this is just to kind of refresh your memory. Uh, and some of you might need to look at it a time or two uh, and kind of get the process down. Uh, you know, I hope you printed off this page and you can kind of follow along and, uh, you know, at least get to a point where you can say that this is where I'm getting lost. This is what I need help with, something like that. But uh, hopefully this will help you out. Now, this is broken up into the three steps for using substitution. Now, we, when we talk about graphing, we're looking for the point the point where the two lines intersect. It has an x value and a y value. We're going to do the same thing, but using algebra in a, you know, called substitution. Now, first step, it says solve for a single variable. That means we want to get, an, in this case, an x or a y by itself. Now, they were nice to us. Okay, they've already done the first step for us. The y is by itself. y equals 3x. We have a variable by itself. Okay, So now we can go on to the second step. It says substitute and solve. Okay, So now take the other equation. In this case, it's x plus y equals 8. Now, if you look back over here, this says y equals 3x or y is the same thing as 3x. I'm just going to break this. Hello. And I'm just going to say hello. But they tell you to, please. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, in this class? In here right now? Uh -huh. I've got to get some work done for about 20 minutes. Oh, okay. I'm going to be out of class. Okay. Okay. Because okay. I've got to go somewhere at, at, uh, at uh, 6.15. So... I will okay. be I will be out. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So now, as I was saying, y is the same thing as 3x. So we're going to put this we're going to substitute this 3x in for y. Okay? So we have x plus instead of writing y, we're going to write 3x equals 8. And all we've done is we've substituted and we basically eliminated the y's. Now there's just an x. There's a single variable. We solve for that single variable. x plus 3x is 4x. So we have 4x equals 8. Now to get the x by itself, we're going to divide both sides by 4. So x would equal 2. Okay, that's the x value of my solution. Now we need to find our y. So we take either one of the original equations. It does not matter. Just take one of them. Okay. And we're going to substitute this 2 in for x and solve for y. Okay. So y equals 3 times 2. y would equal 6. So my solution is 2, 6. Okay, number two, they, have, they do not have a variable by itself right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick a variable that would be easiest to solve for. Okay, so now where I would start is I would look for a variable that does not have a coefficient or a number in front of it. For instance, we could easily solve for this y. Or we could easily solve for this x. It does not matter. Okay? Just for purposes, I'm going to try to solve for this y. We have 2x plus y equals 9. Okay? Now, once again, get the variable by itself. To get the y by itself, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. Okay? 2x minus 2x is 0. That's gone. So we have y equals negative 2x plus 9, because we can't subtract that 2x from the 9. Now it's solved for a single variable. The y is by itself. We're good. Let's go to the next step. Just like on the first one, we take the other equation. Okay. 
And we're going to substitute this negative 2x plus 9, and we are going to substitute it in for y of the other equation. So we have x plus 4 times negative 2x plus 9 equals 1. Okay? The only thing that changed is where it said y, I put this negative 2x plus 1. Or negative 2x plus 9, excuse me. Now, we just use our algebra that we've learned from the beginning of the year. We see a number outside of parentheses. That tells me I need to distribute. So I have x. Okay, 4 times negative 2x, that's negative 8x. 4 times 9 is 36. Once I distribute, I have to combine like terms. x minus 8x is negative 8, or excuse me, negative 7x plus 36 equals 1. Now, once again, all I have is one variable. I need to get that variable by itself. Move the 36, or I'm going to, sub by subtracting 36 from both sides, because remember what we do on one side of the equation, we have to do on the other. So now we have negative 7x equals negative 35. Now to get the x by itself, divide both sides by negative 7. And x would equal negative divided by negative is a positive 5. So there's my x value. Now, once again, I need to find the y. Either equation. Okay, substitute 5 in for x. Okay, 2 times 5 is 10. Now, to solve for y, I'm simply going to subtract 10 from both sides. So, y would equal negative 1. So my solution is at 5, negative 1. Number 3. Once again, solve for a single variable. Okay. Now, the only one, the only uh, variable without a coefficient is this b. So I'm going to solve for that b. So we want to get this by itself. Okay, first thing we need to do is get rid of the 2a. I'm going to do that. It's positive, so I'm going to subtract 2a from both sides. That leaves me with negative b equals negative 2a plus 1. Now, that doesn't say positive b. It says negative b. There's an understood negative 1. It's negative 1b. So I'm going to divide everything by negative 1. When I divide by negative 1, the only thing that does to everything, it changes all the signs. So negative divided by negative is positive b. Negative divided by negative is a positive 2a. And a positive divided by a negative is a negative 1. Now, our variable b is by itself. Take the second equation, and we're going to substitute this 2a minus 1 and substitute it in for b of the other equation. So I have 5a minus 3. Now substitute 2a minus 1 equals 0. Just like on the last one, distribute. Now, I'm distributing a negative 3. So I have 5a. Negative 3 times 2a is negative 6a. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. That equals 0. Combine like terms, 5a minus 6a is negative 1a. Plus 3 equals 0. Now, solve for a. Subtract 3 from both sides. Negative a equals negative 3. 
Now to make that positive, just like before, divide everything by negative 1. So A, negative divided by negative, positive, equals negative divided by negative is a positive 3. So A equals 3. Now, just to refresh, when we do not use X or a Y, okay, in this case we have an A and a B. Whatever letter comes first in the alphabet will be our X. So in this case, if A comes first in the alphabet, the 3 will be my X. Now I need to find my Y or my B. Take either equation. Okay, substitute 3 in for A. Okay, now solve for B. 5 times 3 is 15. I'm going to get this B by itself. It looks kind of like a 6, but it's a B. I'm going to subtract 15 from both sides. Leaves me with negative 3B equals negative 15. And the last step to get B by itself, divide both sides by negative 3. Once again, negative divided by negative is a positive. Negative 15 divided by negative 3 is a positive 5. So my solution is at 3, 5.